Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing an Everything in Blitz stores review where we just go through the store and I just basically say whether things are worth it, kind of the characteristics of the tank, if it's a good deal or if it's a bad deal. So let's jump right into it. So I'm going to start off here with the offers and right off the bat we have here the Devastating T34 and this is a really good deal. I made an in-shop review of this it is so go don't forget to go check that out um, on the channel, but this deal, I will talk about it anyway because you might have not seen that already, but it's a great deal. So we have the D34, you get the uh, camo, the Falcon camo and attachment with it, 500,000 credits, 30 days of premium, the Blitz Order Legendary Avatar, and it's nine equipment slots. So yeah, it's a really good deal because you get... The tank, you get the camo, the attachment, 30 days of premium, and 5,000 credits. Like, that's a lot of stuff for only 5,500 gold, and it's definitely worth it. And I highly recommend that. I mean, the tank is a great tank. It's got one of the best turrets in the game. Uh, great penetration on the gun. Great uh, hold down tank all around. It's a pretty good tank. And now, of course, we have boosters here. Boosters are never a good deal. Those are always just wastes of money. But here, of course, we have the parts certificates for the E75 TS. Now, I w don't buy these until either you don't have the tank on the last day or you know you're not going to be able to get it or something for, for, for free. But I think most people will be able to get it for free. But if you can't, these are actually pretty reasonably priced. And I will be having a review out on the E75 TS as soon as I get it, which hopefully shouldn't be too long. Here we have some interesting things though. I've never seen these before until just now they had these come out. It's basically just a, a discount on converting free XP and stuff. So you you know you have it costs the elite XP and gold, but it's a lot less because you have like here we have for a hundred thousand free XP we have two thousand eight hundred gold. Now if we try to get a hundred thousand free XP in here, it as you can see it costs a lot more. It costs 4,000 gold. So you're saving 1,200 gold, which is quite a bit of gold if you, ha uh, if you, in my opinion. But yeah, so these are pretty good deals. If you're looking for free XP, these are all worth it. I mean, don't know who would be wanting 2,000 free XP, but you never know. But the only one that I think you would really want to get would be this one right here. And it looks like you can get them as many times as you want. There's only one day left, so do go hurry, though, because these are going to be leaving shops soon. But if you're looking for free XP, these are definitely very worth it. Up next, we have the T26E3 Eagle 7. Now, I did make a tank uh, review on this. I didn't do any gameplay, but I did go over all the statistics, give you my opinion. You can go back on the channel and check that out if you want. But the tank's okay, but the deal's not worth it. 10,000 gold for just the tank, 9 equipment slots, and an avatar. It's definitely overpriced for a tier 7. I mean, the tank's got good, it's a good hold down tank, but that's pretty much the only good thing about the tank. But yeah, definitely not worth it. Um, don't recommend that. Same here for crates. I made a crate opening video. You can go check that out. I didn't get anything, of course, because they're crates. But yeah, don't get these because, of course, they're crates and they're not worth it. Because there is a very high chance you're going to get absolutely nothing. So, yeah, don't go for these. Up next, we have the Royal Patrol. And this is actually a pretty good um, deal. If you're into Tier 5s, anything kind of lower tier, this is definitely something you want to pick up. You get the Excelsior, the Angry Connor, and the Matilda Black Prince. Along with 9 equipment slots for each vehicle and the garage slots for it. As well, you get Thunder and Lightning Rare Camouflage for the Excelsior Demon. Soul Rare Camouflage for the Matilda BP and 10 certificates for 5 times XP on each of them. But yeah, I mean, while the tanks aren't the best, most tier 5, there's no overpowered tier 5 premiums. That's just kind of how it is. But if you're looking for, you know, just some some fun at tier 5, these are, this is what you want to get. Because, I mean, the Angry Connor, you drive it backwards. It's kind of funny. But, I mean, you're not going to be playing them too much. So I would only go for this if you're more into playing lower tiers. Same for goes for the Royal Guard and the Excelsior. But even this Excelsior, I mean, that's a really good deal. 1,500 gold. Same for this Royal Guards. I would recommend going for this one or this one over this one just because this is a lot more money. But these are still uh, pretty good. Of course, more boosters and not worth it. More boosters, not worth it. And then we just have 
all the standard stuff and the stuff for the tournaments. Moving on to the bundles, here we have some interesting things. Um, we have subscriptions for gold and XP. So if you don't know what these are, basically you buy 30 day. It's 30 days subscription for gold and XP. So every day you log on for those 30 days, you're going to get 250 gold and 1500 XP. Now you have to log on to get them. So if you don't log on every day, you're going to be missing out. But that's a pretty, pretty easy thing to do. And it's $14 for 250 gold for 30 days and 1500 a free XP for 30 days, so I think it's worth it. That's quite a bit of golden XP, so um, if you're into, but personally, I wouldn't get it because you have to wait 30 days to get all that, and honestly, kind of not worth it. It is cheaper price, but you know, I, I personally would not go for it just because I wouldn't want, I'm too impatient to wait 30 days. Next up, we have Lucky Crates. Now, these are very, these are the only type of crates that really should exist in World Tanks. These are the ones where you get the tank no matter what you, you get one tank regardless of like the only thing in there is tanks as you see tier five uh six seven eight and then we have the squad of strangers now these are pretty expensive but it is because you're going to get a tank no matter what but i do have to warn you one thing uh i have noticed about these crates and other people have noticed as well the number one tanks you're going to get are the most common tanks in the tier so let's see tier five what you're going to get you're probably going to get the uh, T25, uh, T14, Excelsior, and Churchill 3, stuff like that. That's going to be your highest chance stuff you're going to get. And, like, for this, the I've noticed it's been the STRV, the, um, where's the other one? The, uh, where is it? The Panzer 4S. Yeah, the Panzer 4S and stuff like that. That's really, it's kind of, it's not rigged, but it, it's sort of rigged. But I still think they're worth it because you do get the opportunity to get a tank. And if you get a tank you already have, you're going to move up and get the next crate for free as compensation for that tank. And you can move it all the way up to tier 10. But if you get a tier 10 that you already have, you are only going to get 2,500 gold, which isn't that much. But um, if you don't have that many tier 10s, these can be worth it. And if you have a lot of the lower tier tanks, you can move up the tiers and get some higher tier tanks if you're lucky. So I do think these are pretty good. Now, it, they are expensive, so if you got the money, I would go for them just because they get a guaranteed tank. And if you have a lot of tanks, because you'll move up to tier 10. But I think you could probably go for them. Here we have just some large researchers kit, and all of the all three of these are good deals. Um, pretty cheap for the amount of stuff you're getting, good for researching, like it says in the name, and pretty good. Here we have the Molten FCM 36. Um, okay deal. I'm not much into lower tier tanking, but you do get 25 gold boosters, 7 days of premium, 10 5 times XP boosters for the tanks. So actually not really too bad of a deal. Most of those lower tanks aren't good deals. Then we just have all this normal stuff. So yeah, that is in everything in Blitz Store's shop review, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time. Bye.